to catch. Yeah, it's tiny. Yeah, it's tiny. It'll fall down the, uh, no, the holes. Oh, wow. Aren't they beautiful? They've got hundreds of them. Oh. They're Do they get any the bigger? Is that, are they very favourite? Oh, oh, there it oh, goes. Oh, oh, he's gone. He's yeah, yeah. good on him. No, he'll be all right if he... <laughs> <laughs> I'll get him in a minute. Oh. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, he's beautiful. I know. Oh, Freddy, yeah. this sun's cold. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> No, there are hundreds, darling. They're oh. everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> they don't go around in a gang. <laughs> so what, what are we talking about? Oh, have, have you blogged? Yeah, we are now. Yeah, we're blogging now. Well. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, what I want to know is, because we're like session musicians, Starfield. How how was it being a session musician? Being a session, session musician. musician, yeah. Back in the beginning. Indescribably oh, boring, a lot well, of the yeah. day. Well, with the, the travelling. Was it like really busy though? <coughs> yeah, it's really busy. Yeah. <coughs> it's amazing, really that, <laughs> amazing that in central London we do 10 till 1 and yeah. people would be on at 2 o'clock and we'd always get there, including the drummer who would have to pack his stuff up and reassemble it at the other end, yeah. only having an hour. And that have, that yeah. never fe ceases to amaze me. Have to have lunch and drive somewhere and oh, park and, be and set your drums up. So you do three of these a day, and on each, Chris pointed this out, on a three hour session you might do four songs, so say 45 minutes, concentration on each one, mm. and at the end of the day you might have done a dozen songs. And you have no recall at all about no, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like the the day before or so, so if it time. becomes a hit and come like in three weeks' time, you've yeah. totally forgotten everything about it. Yeah. Yeah. And you might have been on all these hits you don't know. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and the other yeah. thing is, like talking about Jeff, is that Jeff used to be the jingle guy. And he would do them a very short notice. And he would call you up the night before. So most night. of the top guys were already booked. <laughs> yeah. So what he used to do is at 8 a.m., that's when double scale stopped. Midnight to 8 a.m. double scale, right? Booked us at 8 a.m. for an hour jingle. So all the guys that have got a 10 o'clock session would be free at 9 o'clock. They'd have avoided the traffic. So we always used to welcome those sessions. You're in town, you've got a jingle done already yeah. for Jeff. Yeah. Jeff was the only guy who used to do that. It's Wonder Bra. He's a clever man. Corn yes. face. Uh, yeah, corn life boy soap. That's where I met George Fenton. He, he was a male yeah. model. For a life, but they showed the film and it's George <laughs> rubbing a pink bit of soap. <laughs> he was an actor before he became a, a musician. He's on what playing guitar and more of the world. He's the guy that plays the kit. The guitar. He's the kit yeah. that plays the guitar. He's, yeah, yeah. yeah. He plays the kit. <laughs> Did you get that? The kit. Yes. That played yeah. the guitar. <laughs> the, the played the guitar. Yeah. So is it like the same pool of players then? All there kind are of probably a hundred or so yeah. guys yeah. You'd see the same that people. we would know, but there might have been three or four other sets of people that certain producers would, yeah. wouldn't so dream of booking me so, yeah. or Chris or so on. So we'd probably do half a dozen sessions a, a week together. And then Chris would do half a dozen sessions with another bunch, and you're all going about getting on with it. There'll never be another time like that. I was music say, was it seems cheap. Like a golden time. Yeah, golden time. Yeah, golden yeah, golden golden certain era, certain so. pictures would have their string players that they liked. Yes. Oh, right. so the that's strings, they were all doing the three sessions a day. And yeah. The, you know, yeah, the string players the were quite lucky were. because they used to be able to roll up. They'd yeah. be the other side of a screen. And Not much has changed then. Well, <laughs> no, 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 actually, well, we they, do, they would get there and they'd be given the music and they'd play their part and they'd go home. Very rarely would they be asked to uh, be given a chord chart. And Oh, no, there wouldn't. It, it's not like that. It's quite a different See, L and I, that's one of the things about Echo, is that we do do that. We, do, we can do it off a chord chart. 
and we can come up with an arrangement yeah. in half an hour. Yeah, I think and that's And we can take the it. arrangements away and work on them, or we can just turn up and play whatever dots it is Britain that you have. Britain seems like to be session. way behind that process that happens a lot in America. I mean, mm. like the Swedish mm. brass, just a bunch of young musicians that came out of a college. Uh, mm. Can you name a city in Sweden? Stock, stock Stockholm. Hall. Stockholm, yeah, they yeah. Like, yeah. And uh, they get loads of work because they were a unit and very quickly, like brass players, the brick of brass and that, works as a team. That's yeah, I've noticed that there's a lot of really accomplished string players come out of college. And um, we had some that we used to work with Brian Ferry, as a violinist. And they would be really, really great players and they really read well. Yeah. But if, they, if Brian had, had said on a simple one, four, five sequence to play a solo, They'd be really stumped at what the chords yeah. were. They're not hearing them, so no, you think with a, like a proper a proper reading, yeah. education, there would be some kind of harmonic ear training so that you know what's going. Well, there it is. We do do oral, classes. but it, it doesn't. Yeah. It's not that it doesn't prepare well, you. Well, people we seem to be over over uh, qualified in the in in the well. playing no, difficult not parts so yeah. and not. Uh, well, it means they can't do all the work that's about. Which that's <laughs> it. Which is not the rock gig, really. Yeah, it's, well, it's, no, it's yeah, quite it's a rock British rock <laughs> malady well that uh, there are heads of music in British schools that can't read music or are teaching young guitar players. Yeah, that's the other side of it. Isn't tabs, it? Mm. and those kids are never going to go anywhere because tabs fizzle out after a couple of years. And uh, tabs are only relevant to yeah, the guitar. Yeah, tabs are dots and online. Even yeah. I can't, I don't I have no idea. So what how is both sense. of you, how was yeah. you, you, your sort of training then? How did you kind you of do... Uh, listening to jazz. Listening to Miles jazz, Davis right, yeah. when we were kids, really. And oh, okay. listening to the invention of a whole new high art, which is what jazz really? was. You were in the RAF all the Yeah, I, I learned because young way. men used to have to go in the armed services. Oh, and you had yeah. the choice of killing people or playing in a band or being a cook. Yeah. 